Well, good evening, everybody, and blessings to you on this holy Saturday. Uh, glad you could be here for evening prayer. Um, got a bit more uh, sad news, St. John's family. Um, we learned recently that William Rackle uh, died of complications related to the COVID disease. Um, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, so please, please pray for the Rackle family. Um, you'll remember just last week we were giving thanks to God for the life of his wife, Carol, uh, and now we will give thanks to God for his life and pray for his loved ones as they grieve in these days when all of the normal ways in which we say goodbye are unavailable to us. So pray for the Rackle family. And as always, we say thanks be to God for all the saints. And this night we say thanks be to God for Carol and for William Rackle. Amen. As we begin this night, on this holy day, let us pray. O oh God, you are the creator of the world, the liberator of your people, and the wisdom of the earth. By the resurrection of your Son, free us from our fears. Restore us in your image and ignite us with your light. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. The scripture reading for this night is from Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you must also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to, to God in Christ Jesus. Amen. And now at the close of this day, I invite you to pray with me. Merciful God, you heal the broken heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness calm our troubled spirits and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ's rising from the dead, you conquered death and opened the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love we shall one day be brought together again with all the saints and especially our brother William. Grant this we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now may God, who has brought us from death to life, fill you with great joy this night. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. And good night, and take care of each other. Peace, my friends.